In a remote valley nestled deep within the Himalayan mountains, there lived an elderly Buddhist monk named Tenzin. His monastery, a humble abode carved into the very rock itself, had stood for centuries as a sanctuary of wisdom and inner peace. One crisp autumn morning, as the first rays of dawn spilled over the snow-capped peaks, Tenzin heard a faint knock at the monastery gates. Upon opening them, he found a young woman named Jayati, her eyes brimming with tears, and her spirit weighed down by an invisible burden. Venerable one, she said, her voice trembling. I come to you seeking guidance, for my heart is consumed by darkness, and the last embers of hope within me are fading. Tenzin regarded her with a gentle gaze and invited her inside. As they sat cross-legged beside the crackling fire, Jayati poured out her story. She spoke of a life once filled with dreams and aspirations, a path paved with promise and joy. But fate, it seemed, had other plans. One by one, her hopes were dashed, a career derailed, a love lost, a family torn asunder. With each blow, a part of her withered, until all that remained was a husk, a mere shadow of the vibrant soul she once was. I have tried, venerable one, she confessed, her eyes downcast. I have tried to rekindle the flames of hope, but each time they are extinguished by the harsh winds of reality. Tell me, how can one find hope when all seems lost? Tenzin listened intently, his weathered features carved by a lifetime of seeking and understanding. When Jayati fell silent, he spoke, his words carrying the weight of ancient wisdom. My child, hope is not a fleeting emotion, but a profound state of being, a beacon that guides us through the darkest of nights. It is the unwavering belief that beyond the veil of suffering, there exists a path to liberation, to inner peace, and to the realization of our highest potential. He paused, allowing his words to settle like raindrops upon thirsty soil. You see, hope is not born of circumstance, but of perspective. It is the ability to perceive the impermanence of all things, both pleasant and unpleasant, and to find solace in the understanding that just as darkness inevitably gives way to light, so too shall your struggles yield to brighter days. Jayati listened, her heart yearning to grasp the truth in Tenzin's words. The Buddha himself taught us that life is a cycle of birth, death, and rebirth, a constant ebb and flow of joy and sorrow, gain and loss. By clinging to our desires and aversions, we create our own suffering. But when we embrace the transient nature of existence, we free ourselves from the shackles of attachment, and therein lies the path to true liberation. As Tenzin spoke, Jayati felt a stirring within her, a gentle breeze breathing life into the dying embers of her spirit. Cultivate mindfulness, my child, Tenzin continued, for it is through present moment awareness that we can truly appreciate the fleeting beauty of existence and find contentment in the here and now, regardless of our circumstances. He then guided Jayati through a simple meditation, teaching her to focus on her breath, to observe her thoughts and emotions without judgment and to anchor herself in the present moment. As the minutes passed, Jayati felt a profound sense of clarity wash over her, a newfound appreciation for the simple act of being alive. And above all, Tenzin said, his eyes shining with wisdom, cultivate compassion for yourself and for all beings who suffer. For it is through the recognition of our shared humanity that we can find the strength to persevere and the courage to extend kindness and understanding even in the darkest of times. As the sun reached its zenith, Tenzin rose and gestured for Jayati to follow him outside. They ascended a winding path, each step bringing them closer to the peak of the mountain that loomed above the monastery. At the summit, Tenzin bade Jayati to look out over the vast expanse that unfolded before them. Do you see the vastness of this land, my child? He asked. Do you see how the mountains rise and fall? How the rivers wind their way through valleys and gorges, ever-changing, yet ever-present? Jayati nodded her eyes drinking in the majesty of nature's tapestry. Just as these landscapes endure through the eons, so too can your spirit endure if you allow yourself to flow with the currents of existence rather than resist them. For in the heart of every storm lies the promise of calm, and in the depths of every night, the whisper of a new dawn. In that moment, Jayati felt a weight lift from her shoulders, a veil of darkness parting to reveal the radiant light of understanding. She saw, with newfound clarity, that her struggles were not permanent, but merely ripples upon the vast ocean of existence. And within her, the embers of hope were reignited, burning brighter than ever before. As they descended the mountain, Jayati felt a profound sense of gratitude towards Tenzin, for he had shown her the path to rediscovering the hope that had eluded her for so long. From that day forth, Jayati embarked on a journey of personal transformation, 
Guided by the teachings of the Buddha and the wisdom imparted by Tenzin, she cultivated mindfulness in her daily life, embracing each moment with presence and acceptance. She extended compassion to herself and to those around her, recognizing the shared humanity that bound them together in the tapestry of existence. And when challenges arose, as they inevitably did, Jayati no longer met them with despair, but with the unwavering hope that had taken root within her. She understood that just as the seasons ebb and flow, so too would her struggles give way to brighter days, if she could but weather the storm with patience and resilience. As the years passed, Jayati's life became a testament to the transformative power of hope, a beacon that not only guided her through the darkest of nights, but also illuminated the path for others who had lost their way. And in her heart, she carried the wisdom of Tenzin's words, a mantra that echoed through the ages. Hope is not a fleeting emotion, but a profound state of being, a beacon that guides us through the darkest of nights, and a reminder that beyond the veil of suffering, there exists a path to liberation, to inner peace, and to the realization of our highest potential. For in the end, it is hope that sustains us, that allows us to endure the inevitable trials and tribulations of existence, and to emerge from the crucible of suffering with a spirit tempered by wisdom and resilience. And so, even when all seems lost, may we never lose sight of the ember of hope that burns within, for it is that flicker of light that guides us home to the realization of our true nature, a nature that is eternal, indomitable, and imbued with the radiance of boundless possibility. The moral of Jayati's journey is this. Hope is the quintessential force that allows us to transcend suffering and discover the path to lasting peace and fulfillment. Even in our darkest hours, when the light of hope seems all but extinguished, we must nurture the embers within, fanning them with the wisdom of impermanence, the balm of mindfulness, and the warmth of compassion. For it is hope that imbues our existence with meaning, purpose, and the resilience to weather any storm. Without hope, we are but leaves adrift in the winds of circumstance. But with hope as our anchor, we can navigate even the most turbulent of seas, secure in the knowledge that brighter days lie ahead. Embrace hope, and you embrace the boundless potential within, the possibility of personal transformation, inner liberation, and the ultimate realization of your highest self. If this story of rediscovering hope resonated with you, don't let those last embers fade. Subscribe to our channel, like this video, and share it to inspire others. Join a community dedicated to nurturing the flame of hope through Buddhist wisdom. Drop a comment letting us know how you'll fan those embers into a blaze lighting your path to inner peace. Together, we'll keep that fire of hope burning bright. Hit the notification bell so you never miss an uplifting story from us.